Hi all, it's Friday the 18th of December and it's Black Friday as known in the UK because everyone goes out on work stews and it's my work stew so I'm going to go out with uh, some friends etc and we're not going to go crazy just having a few drinks, something to eat and back home so before I go out, I just thought I'd do a quick update and yeah, update is I built the uh, old coal mine looks like that, oh, looks really good actually went together really well considering it was 40 odd years old, the kit really impressive with it it needs weathering and cooling and god knows what, it needs a lot of things doing to it airbrushing, lots of other Little details could be added, uh, narrow gauge wagons could be added. It's a really unique structure, I like it. Well worth £7. The instructions I've got to follow were really basic. There's no numbers on the sprues, you just have to use a common sense, really. Some of it was a bit tricky, wondering how it went on some of the struts, etc. But other than that, it went together fine. Bought some some more people. Let's go on the platforms. Some interesting characters there. Let's go on to the main station. Uh, recently, I've also added to this pretty unique train, which is a it's a long Henry ore train, which is well known in Germany as a double header class 44s something similar, carrying a long rake of ore wagons going to the blast furnace the ore wagons, this is a set I've got recently 23935 and uh, nicely boxed picture of the blast, blast furnace etc, really nice wagons actually let's get one out carefully There we go. Very well done. Slightly weathered with realistic ore load, an ore load on uh, inside there, looks really good. In fact, some of the wagons actually use real coal dust. So we've got five of them to add to the box set of wagons here which I've got which is another 12 sets of wagons in there all individually numbered now these ones have got proper coal uh, dust on the loads so they sparkle and ore, ore effect and of course I've got these two locos here which are the factory weathered Probably seen these before on the layout. These are both factory weathered tricks, locos. Now the next step for this train is to get these digitised sound with Zemo decoders. Both of them are now, at the moment, just standard digital decoders, perfectly matched and tailored with each other. So they work in tandem very well. So that's the ore train, and that will be in a total of about 17 wagons long and that's done uh, another quick item what else have been doing <clears throat> got a few trains running around it's a beauty of that also got an American train New York Central pulling a load of uh, US wagons, Union Pacifics. I know it doesn't match the loco, but who cares? They're American wagons. Another thing I've done is slightly rearranged the gravel yard. Took away the big crane. normal dumper 
wagon in there now to load up. The other crane has now been moved and converted back into a normal jib crane. So that can service three tracks, actually four, and it swings out. I've got to actually connect that up to the uh, digital system so it works again. Also, I just did some repairs on this particular loco going round now, so I've got a lot of sound on it, so I have to take the speaker out. Another area I've done is I've added a bit of an old farmhouse and old Dalaric buildings, and I've got to add some more mud and tracks and that are eroding away so it looks like it's been left for ages that's just another area added some more trees there and that's about it for now just a quick update also added more trees around the turntable and added more trees to the mountain I still need to add some more actually, I'm going to get another bag that's it for now, thanks for watching